Today, I'll show you how to add a sticky column effect to your website, where one column will stick like this, and the other column will move when I scroll down my site. If I scroll down further, then both columns will move up too. Now, using my steps, you can create something that Amazon is already doing. Or create a variation like this, and customize it by adding videos, images, and buttons to your columns. Lots of possibilities here. So let's get started. So first, once you're in the editor, you'll see this folder icon. Click on it to open the template library. I'll use this one. All right, we have the containers. Let me just add a few more things. I'll add an image widget from the widget panel. And from the left, I'll upload a photo like this. Okay, let's quickly finish this section. I'll add a heading right below this. And from here, I'll change the text quickly. Let's also add a buy now button here. And done. Cool, let's quickly finish the right section now. I'll add a container like this. Go to the style tab and change the background color to this. I'll also add some border radius and then drag an image widget here. Now, let's quickly add a text here and customize it from the style tab. Then duplicate it a few times and change the image and text for each container as well. Once it's done, it should look like this. To keep the left container in place, we'll make it sticky. To do that, click on the container you want to stick in place. Make sure you select the correct one using the navigator as it will have all the elements inside. Then go to the left sidebar and under the advanced settings, select motion effects. You'll see two sticky positions to choose from top and bottom. The top sticky option keeps the container at the top of the screen and the bottom sticky option fixes it to the bottom. For this scrolling effect, we need it to be sticky at the top. So I'll quickly select like this. Just a quick pointer though, the sticky effect only works when the containers are stacked vertically. That's why I've placed all the widgets inside a vertical parent container. Okay, a left container with the car stays in place. But when I scroll, there's an overlap issue here. To fix this, I'll have to adjust the Z-index of our containers. Don't worry, the Z-index setting just controls the layering of elements on your page. I'll set this bottom container to a Z-index of 11 and the sticky container's Z-index to 10. Let's also enable this stay in column option for the sticky container. This will make sure the bottom container appears on top when they overlap. Just make sure to set the higher Z-index to the element you want to appear on top. Let's update the page from here and preview it by clicking here. Okay, I've got the photo of the car and the buy now button on the left and I can scroll on the right to see all the specifications of the car. But I just need to check one thing though. Let's see how it looks on mobile devices. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll go back to Elementor, click here to switch to mobile layout. Okay, the layout looks a bit off. So let's quickly adjust it like this. Okay, so I'll go back to the sticky container and disable the sticky mode for tablets and mobile devices. I'll preview it again. Looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.